Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session in Azure, we'll see how you can integrate Azure SQL database with Power BI so that you can visualize your data. And as an organization, you can make a business decision. In today's demonstration, these are the four steps we're going to follow that you see on the screen. We are going to start with creating an Azure SQL database. Then we're going to open the firewall so that we can access that SQL database and create some table and load data. And finally, we can visualize that data by using Power BI. So with that, let's get started and uh, we are going to create a resource group. Pick your subscription and uh, pick the location where you want to deploy this resource. I'm going to use Canada Central and name of my resource group going to be BIRG. With the resource group created, let's search for SQL database. And let's go and click on create. Pick your subscription. We're going to deploy everything under BIRG and uh, you can give the name for your database. I'm going to name this ITSDB and uh, you also need to create a server. I'm not going to name this ITS server 10 and again, it will be deployed in Canada Central region. For authentication, you can use any of these options, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use SQL authentication and provide the appropriate credentials. We are not creating any elastic pool, so you can leave everything to the default. For the workload environment, I'm going to pick development so that I don't incur a lot of charges. And uh, you can always configure the database. General purpose is okay with me. And uh, one core and uh, this much capacity should be fine because we are just doing this for testing purpose. So I'm going to close this. And for redundancy for backup, I'm going to use locally redundant because I'm going to close this as soon as, uh, or delete this uh, resources after we are done with this lab. For the connectivity method, I'm going to use public endpoint. By default, it is 100% uh, blocked, but we're going to open the firewall to give access to the database. And rest everything, we can leave that to the default here. Or you can, over here, you can add your current client IP address. Actually, that we should do so that we are able to access the database. And uh, let's go to the security. We are not going to add any Microsoft Defender for SQL for now and uh, rest everything is default let's review and create With deployment successful, let's go to the resources. And uh, under the overview button, you can see the server name, which is ITS Server 10. And uh, we also have the database already configured. So let's go to the query editor. Now, if you don't have SQL Server Management Studio, Microsoft provides or Azure provides you a great way of maybe creating a table. It's in preview, but you can definitely use which we're going to try out for creating the table and load data. For this, you can provide SQL Server authentication. And it's the same username and password which you used when you were creating that SQL database. So let me try to connect to it. Here we go. So we are inside our database now, as you can see. And for creating a table, I'm going to use a simple command, which is a create command, and it will create a table with the name uh, products. Okay, so the command ran successfully, so that's good. And now what we're going to add some data into this. For this, you can use the insert command. Okay. 
and this was also successful and if you want to make sure that uh, the data was loaded successfully you can use the command or select command So the data was also loaded successfully. So you can see that there are only two columns. So you have some product name and the price associated with that. And uh, let's see how we can visualize that now with Power BI. Now, very similar to a query editor, uh, Microsoft also provides you the Power BI, which you can download right from here, right? But what I've done is that I've already downloaded a Power BI for desktop on my local machine, which I'm going to open and we'll try to connect to this Azure SQL database that we have created. So you can get the data from different sources here. So I'm going to pick this. And here you can see that you can download different kinds of data, the file databases, Power Platform, Azure, you know, it's a uh, a uh, big list. So let me pick Azure in this case. And because you're talking about Azure SQL database, I'm going to try to connect to it. And uh, it is asking for the server name, which I can grab from the overview button. And the name of my database is ITSDB. And let's try to import it. Now it is asking me for, to authenticate, which I'm going to use the SQL Server authentication. So same username and password. All right, so authentication was successful and uh, I can see the table here. So I'm going to pick this and uh, let's try to load the data. And uh, I see my table over here. I'm going to select product name, right? And this is the data. But the important or the power of uh, Power BI comes from the fact that you can create a lot of visualization, right? And uh, this can be really handy in case you're having some sort of a meeting maybe with your sales team and you want to uh, forecast or uh, make budgets for anything related, you can make use of these visualizations. So let me just pick a pie chart over here, right? So you can see, let me use this example. I'm going to pick prices also here, sorry. Now I'm going to pick this and uh, let me increase the size. And here you can see that this is much more better visualization rather than just a couple of columns and you can see that uh, the data was very small in this case but when you're dealing with a lot of uh, big data a lot of columns a lot of excel sheets right it can get really complicated and if the, you're trying to make a message or uh, make a point if you have something like this visualization it is far more better rather than just uh, talking about the numbers over here so you can see that the product name right you can always change this you can see you can make this uh, in a clustered bar chart. You can also do the column charts over here, right? So there are different visualization that you can build over here. So this was a brief demo of how you can integrate Azure SQL database with Power BI and create visualization. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.